from London, England, it's theCUBE. Covering Discover 2016 London. Brought to you by Hewlett Packard Enterprise. Now here's your host, Dave Vellante and Paul Gillen. Welcome back to the banks of the Thames, sort of at the London docks. We're here at HPE Discover at Excel London 2016. This is theCUBE, the worldwide leader in live tech coverage. Dr. Tom Bradichich is here. He's the Vice President and General Manager of Servers and IoT Systems for Hewlett Packard Enterprise. Dr. Tom, always a pleasure. Great to see you again, my it's friend. It's great to be here again. It's great to be at another HPE Discover. A lot of energy, a lot of activity. I think it's the best one yet, and I think they just keep getting better. So, I have to say, I'm quite impressed. The first time we met you, um, you were sort of educating us on the seven principles of, of IOT. Yes. Now we've got Meg Whitman on stage, we've got a partner ecosystem developing. It's one of the pillars of Hewlett Packard Enterprise, so congratulations. Give us the big picture, Thanks. the macro on IOT. Yeah, you bet. Uh, that is indeed a great word to choose, a pillar. It's become a pillar of our com company. You might say, well, that escalated quickly. Mm -hmm. And we need to escalate things quickly. We need to be agile and be first movers. And we're first movers in a, in a couple of ways that we'll discuss. But you're right, Meg Whitman's keynote on day two was all about what we call the intelligent edge. And the intelligent edge, it would be effectively a superset of the IoT. The IoT has edges, and edges are places. It could be a factory floor, it could be an automobile, it could be a wind farm, a power plant, an oil rig. These are places where the edge is, that's not in the data center. That's a good way to look at the edge. But there are other types of edges, campuses and branches. So we've consolidated this notion of the intelligent edge under a particular group, and it's a very uh, significant part now of the Hewlett Packard Enterprise Company. I'm very privileged and happy to be working in that organization, you know, as you pointed out. And what we're doing in this intelligent edge, I like to portion into the three C's. Connectivity, compute, and control. And it's a good way, it's a good template for discussion. It's a good way to see what we're doing. What are we doing with connectivity, for example? Well, we have uh, world-leading wireless connectivity, which is a big part of uh, campuses, branches, and the IoT. We have uh, the edge line system, which includes connectivity to things through data acquisition technologies. And then, of course, we have other types of connectivity with respect to the enterprise class IT we have in the data center that can apply to an IoT cloud or an edge cloud, you know, if you will, or an edge that connects to a cloud, if you will. Now, with that said, the second C, it's called compute, and this is where we're a first mover, because we're taking unprecedented levels of proven HPE enterprise technology in computing out to the edge. Now, the profundity of this lies in the fact that that compute was reserved or pent up, trapped, if you will, inside a data center. And all the data had to go there to the compute to be computed. Well, we're reversing it. We're taking that compute capability, and again, we're a leader in compute, that's, that's profound, and we're, we're taking it out to the edge where we can compute at the source of the data capture. And there are many reasons, seven to be exact, <laughs> why you would want to compute at the edge. One of them is latency, one of them is security, one of them is bandwidth, but there's a lot of reasons why you, you have to, in many ways, or prefer to compute at the edge and not send all the data you know, back. So that's number two C, compute. So we've got connectivity, compute. The third C is control. This is overlooked by many IT companies, but not us, because we're, again, leading and differentiating in there. We're a first mover in integrating control systems technology, which comes from the operations technology world, or the OT world, into and embedded in the same box as IT, meaning the compute and the storage that we talked about. And that control technology physically can reside at the edge in HPE offerings, but also control is built into our universal IOT platform. And the universal IOT platform does have a dimension of controlling devices. Our Aruba platforms have a dimension of controlling devices and managing them with respect to security, with respect to identification and discovery. So under these three C's we can partition uh, the different products that we have to give a comprehensive offering. So that's the big picture. So in the third C, you're bringing, for example, factory control technology into your information technology systems, yes. is that right? I mean, I'm thinking about my sprinkler system has a controller. Pretty simple, yeah. you know, well, basic that's device. That's irrigation you could, technology yeah. with control technology. Yeah, yeah. so you could, you could easily bring that into a, a technology system. There have to be just an enormous number of permutations, however. Yeah. And so I, how are you parsing through all those opportunities? Well, you know, I, I spent a lot of my career working 
with companies convincing them to do something that it doesn't yet understand, if you will. And I don't mean that in a negative way, I just mean simply because it's new. And by definition, it's a new thing. This whole world of converged edge systems, that's a new product category. And because it's new, it has no history, you know, by definition. But it will indeed disrupt, and I don't mean to overuse this phrase, but digital, digitally disrupt, right, digital disruption, the control world and the embedded systems world that resides at the edge, at the factory floor, in the power plant, in different places. And we're in the forefront of thinking it as a thought leader, but we're also in the forefront of creating products. So we're not only a first talker and a first thinker, we're a first doer. You know, with respect well, to the companies that, that, that dominate there, I mean, you're <laughs> talking about Honeywell and Rockwell and Siemens, uh, companies that have not traditionally been constituencies of, of HPE or anybody in this industry, so what are you doing with those guys? Yeah, that's a great question. We have to create a new ecosystem that doesn't exist. You're absolutely right, and that's what being a first mover is. You're first, right? So we created an ecosystem with uh, many of the names that come up when you think about operational technology. We have a great relationship with General Electric, a big name, of course, National Instruments, we've talked about, and also startups in that, in that area. And the idea is to cooperate with them and build a better solution because it's converged. And I might pick up on a fourth C, if you will, converge, but that's really not the, um, the primary one. But convergence is, let me give you the example of a smartphone. You all have one, in fact, I see them here. In that smartphone is not just a cell phone, but it was converged the digital camera. You don't carry around a separate camera anymore, or you don't have to is the point. In that is converged a GPS system. You don't have to carry around that separate. Let me go on. A music player, a video player, your address book, and of course the phone, telephone capability. It got all in one little box, if you will, and that's what makes it so powerful. A flashlight. <laughs> a flashlight. What, and the question Farm isn't block. what's in it, the question is what's not <laughs> in it, right? There's an app for that, right? So you get my point on convergence of a smartphone. What about convergence of all the disparate systems, data acquisition, control systems, computing, uh, IoT gateways, networking, what about all that? We'll put it all in one box. Are you going to make this, or are your partners going to make it? Um, we're both. not going to. We did. So that's the edge line converged edge system proposition. You're absolutely right. And the conversation with your partners is, look, guys, we're really good at this. That part you know, of it. Yeah. The compute part. You're really good at the absolutely, operations. Yeah. Let's let's partner together. It's we'll at, bring A. Right. You bring B. We'll go to market together. And, and please let me elaborate on it because it's so key. As yeah. you you brought that up, Paul, uh, we're not going to create all the content in the soup. We're going to create some of it. Well, what are we good at? Well, we're good at computing, we're good at systems management, we're good at storage. That's our contribution to the, to the solution or the soup. Other people have stuff like control systems, data acquisition, industrial networks. We're going to get their brands, we're going to get their cooperation inside the box. A perfect proof point is right now that one can purchase. National Instruments creates data acquisition and control systems. We have their product that slides right into the HPE Edgeline 4000 and Edgeline 1000. That's a perfect example. And it's their product. And in fact, <clears throat> uh, their skills are, are not taken over by us, their skills are complementary. It's just a locate, it just happens to be in the same location now physically. Okay, so I want to understand differentiation. Why can't Michael Dell watch this video and say, hey Tom, Dr. Tom, thanks for the idea. I'm now going to go to the edge. What's different about HPE? Well, first of all, uh, I'd be somewhat flattered if he watched the video. Um, <laughs> let me just get that out of the way. You'd be surprised. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, He's you know, amazing. He was dude. texting Dave earlier today. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let me answer that. Uh, let me let me not say it's not possible for a competitor to copy and do what we're doing because we have smart competitors out so. there, and I want to give all due respect. However, we're a first mover, and there is a complication when it comes to how small it is and how compact it is. That's an integration, frankly, an engineering philosophy to get that business value. So I would say other companies could be more challenged. Could they figure it out? Perhaps. Are they a first mover? No, because we have taken that position, right? So we have a first mover advantage, and also when you do something new, remember this is new, no history really or experience, uh, you get the first learning, and you're able then to continue to move forward. So the pace at which I can move forward in my business, talking as a supplier on behalf of our customers, is going to be faster than that which my competitors might copy. That's the, the philosophy here. Mm -hmm. Are there other technical advantages that you, ha you have? I mean, Aruba, I would think, is, a, is an advantage. Oh, let's talk about the Aruba product line. Clearly some advantages in security. Uh, we have the, uh, a really cool technology uh, called Meridian, which is taking location services that have traditionally been on the outside, you know, helping you get an automobile to one place to another and we're putting them inside. Think of that, inside the building. So you can find printers, you can find other people, you can find conference rooms, 
you know, et cetera. Now, how does that relate to the IoT? Well, those are things connected to the Internet of Things. That's how you find them, because they're Internet you know, connected. So we connect assets, we connect locations, we can connect people. Okay, good. Um, give you the last word on, we're, we're out of time, but, but you know, the, the basic mega trends that you see that are tailwinds for Hewlett Packard Enterprise in yeah, this space. Very, very, very good, and, and some of them are quite in our favor. Others that we're, we're jumping on and being agile to learn. Uh, the ability to run prognostics, predict the future, is a big, big trend, uh, not only in the IoT, but because it's in the IoT, we've got other things coming in with data and we can help predict the future of their health, the future of people's buying patterns, the future of, of the healthcare of you know, people, uh, the auto industry, traffic patterns as well. And predicting the future through prognostics is big. And the EdgeLine platform, the EdgeLine converged edge system platform is, is a first mover in allowing that to happen at the edge. So it's really, really a, a great trend and, and we're looking at that. A second trend is of course the ubiquitous connectivity. Excellent. Okay, I'm going to ask you to stay here. We got a little tease. We got a, we got a partner coming in. We're going to talk OT a little bit and how we're going to see how this is all coming together. Okay, Very so good. can you stay with us? All right. You bet. Good. Well, keep it right there, everybody. We'll be back with our next guest and Dr. Tom Bradichis. Right back. <laughs>